Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Alfred Hitchcock's Rope from 1948. And yes, back again here, yet another Hitchcock film uh, to discuss. Um, so yes, very exciting of course. Um, and this is, uh, you know, such an intriguing film, this one. Um, of course, there'll be spoilers, um, you know, in this discussion uh, or review, of course. So yes, if you haven't seen this film, uh, you know, friendly recommendation that you watch the film first and then come back to this. Um, of course, you wouldn't want any spoilers um, given to you. So, Yes, um, with that said, um, we are back once again, uh, my third watch for this film uh, last week, and um, yes, um, kind of, you know, as one of the films, um, you know, that I chose, um, you know, this August, you know, I have you know, every kind of, um, you know, August um, for, you know, around my birthday time, I have uh, two weeks where I, I kind of um, go on this, you know, tradition of, um, you know, it's been the last at least uh, kind of five or six years that I've done this, but uh, re-watching, um, you know, a lot of my favourites, um, that could be top 300 it could be top um, 25 top 15 um, you know who knows um, you know it just um, you know a variety of my favorites um, most of the time of these two weeks I choose um, usually um, you know I kind of most of my films you know they're rewatches uh, of my favorites um, and of course strange on a train um, that was one of my films as well last week and um, yes um, this is another film that I chose um, rope uh, and this is a very very special film um, actually to me and um, Yes, we'll start where, you know, my first um, kind of experience with this film, uh, you know, and I have, you know, discussed this one before, um, but I thought I really want to review this one, uh, give this a real, you know, in-depth, uh, maybe, uh, or at least more of a kind of um, a bigger review here. Um, but yes, you know, I watched this, um, you know, 2017, um, you know, later on in 2017, and that was the first watch I had of this film, of course. The set behind me, um, you know, I was going through a variety of these films, and um, yes, was very interested in this one. Um, you know, it's noted for, of course, being the first um, colour Hitchcock, um, but more importantly, it's the first uh, Jimmy Stewart um, Hitchcock pairing. And of course, Jimmy Stewart is one of my, um, you know, kind of five favourite actors, um, you know, he is, one of the absolute best, uh, in my opinion, and um, you know to see um, to see you know kind of the initial um, pairing here between these two. Of course, you know this was um, you know this was very very intriguing to me. Um, of course, I'd already seen Rear Window um, you know, before this and um, Vertigo as well, of course. But yes, seeing this film um, you know is quite a treat actually for a number of reasons. And of course, you know I heard um, I heard some things about this before I watched it. Um, you know, maybe um, you know it's not maybe a film. Uh, that would maybe you would say is universally as, as kind of loved as uh, say um, you know the 39 steps or, or kind of um, even strange on the train which I talked about very recently it's not maybe a film uh, that's welcomed by you know all in that sense um, it's more of a there is a real strong reaction for this film um, but it's not you know kind of everywhere in that sense in every kind of corner of um, you know the kind of um, film community perhaps but it's, it's a film uh, you know in essence it's kind of um, considered by many um, you know of course um, including of course Hitchcock um, as a kind of experiment film uh, maybe you know uh, yeah nothing more than perhaps an experiment um, in that sense but you know there are um, defenders of this film um, there are champions you know of this film and uh, I am certainly um, you know I must say a very enthusiastic um, kind of um, lover of this film uh, I absolutely um, you know think you know, it may be um, a kind of um, starting out as an experiment, Hitchcock, um, but in the end, you know, this project, um, you know, the end result um, for me personally, of course, all art, you know, is subjective, um, you know, in that sense. But to me, um, you know, I think this is actually, um, you know, I, the more I see this, uh, the more I kind of believe this. Uh, it's one of the finest Hitchcock films and, I mean, it's a real... A real masterpiece, this one. Uh, I think um, you know it goes far to say as one of the, you know, one of the absolute um, you know best Hitchcock works. Um, you know, it's an absolutely stunning achievement, and uh, just you know, it's very short. This film, um, you know, around eighty minutes, of course. You know, uh, kind of um, you know, it appears to be one take. Uh, of course, it's not. Um, you know, technically, um, but you know, you see, um, and there's around uh, ten cuts in this film actually. Um, but you know. Uh, of course, the length, uh, roughly the length, you know, of kind of um, the film reel, of course, you know, it's kind of every shot, um, really, um, every take, and, um, you know, kind of Hitchcock um, did a very um, kind of uh, unique, um, you know, kind of uh, thing here where he kind of moved the camera um, behind maybe an object or the back of someone, for example, um, you know, so it kind of goes black, and, you know, it doesn't seem as if it's kind of another take, another cut um, here, and um, it actually, of course, is and um, you know kind of a seamless um, um, illusion of course you know uh, being a seamless kind of um, all one take film uh, of course it's not but you know it kind of um, it has the flow of that it has the um, you know the kind of 
the feeling of that, um, regardless, um, because he, he manages to kind of um, hide this, um, you know, create this illusion, of course. And yes, um, again, um, another kind of, um, you know, an interesting thing, of course, it's being, um, you know, taking place uh, in this kind of, um, yes, this this kind of one location uh, film uh, in this apartment, of course. Um, you do see the outside of the apartment, um, you know, in the first um, shot of the film, and you have the Hitchcock cameo there, and um, there is, of course, another one uh, that's in some would say is in the film, uh, but you know the main uh, Hitchcock cameo is is in this um, you know, kind of opening credits, and um, then of course the rest of the film uh, is just in the apartment. Um, there is not a single shot, um, you know, after that that leaves um, this 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 apartment, and um, mainly the kind of um, yes, the kind of um, the 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 main room of the house uh, of the apartment. This is the kind of the main um, area we're kind of um, in, and uh, of course we see different characters uh, kind of come and go. But yes, the main idea, of course, uh, another experiment you could say um, in many regards is the, the actual experiment of, you know, these two characters um, carrying out this this kind of, this murder, um, perfect murder, um, you know, or if you call it that, of course, that's what they refer to it as. And, um, you know, this whole kind of way in which they, they, they the first, um, you know, scene in the apartment, um, you know, it's these two characters, Philip and Brandon, um, played by Farley Granger and John Dahl, um, respectively. They carry out this this kind of murder here, um, acting, of course, on their philosophical, um, you know, kind of theories here. Um, they have a, these kind of um, viewpoints, which we kind of learn um, over the course of the film, um, becomes more and more disturbing. This film, um, you know, as as it goes on um, in its narrative, um, you know, I think it's really genius. But you have this, um, yes, this murder of David. Um, they strangle him, of course. With this rope, and um, yes, the title of the film uh, being rope, and uh, of course um, they hide his body, um, you know, in this chest, um, which is in the middle of the room, of course, um, throughout the you know pretty much the entire um, film, and um, yes, they hide him in there. Um, they don't um, really think things through um, with the the actual murder weapon. Um, they have that kind of um, you know that's out of the trunk, um, out of the chest, um, and of course, yes, um, the rest of the film uh, we have this kind of dinner party, of course, that they are organising um, just after this, and um, you know these different characters um, who are you know all related in some way um, to to you know Philip, um, you know Brandon um, and David as well, um, of course, these three main uh, initial characters, um, you know, in the film, of course. But yes, you have um, you have this kind of um, coming and going of these characters. This dinner party um, that's organised, of course. Uh, you have Mrs. Wilson as well, and um, she is um, someone who's helping them organise um, you know, this, this dinner party. And of course, you have characters coming into this gradually, and um, this whole um, the whole time that this kind of party is going on, this dinner party, uh, this gathering, um, this, these conversations, um, you know, these different viewpoints that are kind of discussed. Uh, and of course, um, this, this, this event kind of um, gradually unfolding, um, you know, over the course of, you know, kind of real time in essence, um, which is so, so wonderful to see, um, you know, you see the kind of, um, the sunset kind of, you know, expanding uh, across this kind of skyline, um, you know, you see, of course, out of the window, um, you know, this being a set, of course, but, you know, you see the different, um, the changes, of course, in the kind of, the background there, um, you know, the city and the skyline, um, you know, gradually, as we go throughout the film, and, um, you know, the kind of, the red, you know, the kind of, the orange hues, um, the reds, of course, of the sunset, and, um, you know, across the city, and, uh, yes, um, as this goes on, um, of course, you know, the whole time, we have this dramatic irony, um, you know, David in the chest, um, you know, a character who is discussed, um, you know, kind of, you know, mentioned um, throughout the entire, um, the rest of the film, um, all the time, you know, he is in there, he is dead, he has already been dispatched, um, you know, by these two main characters of Philip, um, you know, Brandon, and, um, you know, he is there the whole time, and um, throughout the rest of the film, uh, we have that entire, you know, the irony there, the dramatic irony, and um, the kind of playing with that, until, of course, um, the, the final um, kind of 15 minutes or so, uh, where, of course, it's really, um, you know, our, our character of Rupert, uh, played by Jimmy Stewart, um, who is essentially um, kind of late to the party, um, you know, this dinner party, he comes into it, you know, last, really, um, of these main characters, um, you know, the kind of guests here, and, um, yes, you know, we have, um, as we know, um, that final 15 minutes where it's kind of the these three main characters here, um, you know, Rupert, Philip, uh, and Brandon, all kind of, you know, um, against each other, um, this whole kind of um, the escalation, the kind of culmination, um, you know, of this event and um, the kind of, um, uh, you know, the kind of repercussions, um, in essence, of this 
murder and um you know there is um you know of course the final um you know the final shot there being um one of the most haunting um you know actually as well epic um final um kind of images you know um, in the history of cinema for me uh, of course you know Rupert with the gun um you know just uh, kind of holding Philip and Brandon there until of course the law arrives the police and um you know we have we don't see any of that you know we just end uh, on that very very haunting eerie shot um you know of course of you know Jimmy Stewart um you know of course his character of um Rupert um you know with his back to us us viewers uh, of course and um just you know the character of Philip um you know and Brandon as well just kind of um carrying on with with their kind of um facade right, in that sense and um Yes, um, you know, this film here, um, you know, is a real stroke of genius, I feel. It may have been, you know, initially, um, you know, an experiment, of course, but this one really, um, the end result is such a stunning film, uh, you know, it really is quite wowing, um, you know, and so inspirational, uh, once again, um, you know, some of these Hitchcock films, they're kind of, uh, this may not be as kind of grand or as, you know, majestic, um, you know, kind of, was well, um, layered, um, you know, in, in a way, as a film like uh, Vertigo um, or North of West, um, for example. But we have, um, you know, this very contained film, uh, very simple idea here, um, very very simple um, initial event that happens. Um, but where Hitchcock takes this, how he develops this um, this event, of course, this um, you know this murder, um, you know, is it, kind of a foil um, to bring out humanity here, um, you know, to bring out different perspectives, um, you know, kind of a dissection of um, humanity and, uh, and truths, uh, of course, you know, all these different things uh, that can be explored in cinema. Um, Hitchcock does this over the course um, of 80 minutes, um, 10 cuts, of course, and, you know, um, in one room here, um, you know, a dinner party, you know, a simple gathering of, of, of kind of friends, relatives, um, you know, David, um, etc., um, of course, but you know, he does this um, in such a way, he takes it to such heights, um, you know, it's in, in the end, you know, one of the, you know, the most mind-blowing films of all time, uh, this is one of the best thrillers I've ever seen, that's one of the best Hitchcock, so of course, you know, it is, you know, um, kind of one of the best films to me, um, it goes without saying, uh, but you know, this is a real uh, unique experience, uh, you know, it's very, very morbid, of course, you know, you could say, uh, one way of looking at this is very, very dark and kind of, um, yes, yeah, very disturbing, uh, very, very haunting, very chilling, uh, but actually, um, you know, the irony is, um, it's one of the warmest, um, you know, most most charming, uh, actually, and uh, most uh, just lovable um, Hitchcock films, and um, that is, of course, down to the performances as well, uh, you know, Farley Granger, once again, um, so, so charming here, and, uh, you know, in Strangers on the Train as well, um, so, so great, um, very different character here, um, you know, this is a character who is very, very, you could say, um, you know, he's maybe the weakest character in, in the sense of, you know, his his personality being um, one who, you know, is constantly scared for the film, uh, the one who, you know, is, is kind of um, being um, constantly kind of um, manoeuvred uh, by different characters, uh, for example, Rupert, and it's really, um, of course, Brandon who is the one who's, you know, um, determined in the sense of, you know, kind of trying to, to, to come out on the other side, um, you know, maybe perhaps, um, you know, uh, Philip is, is one who is, kind of um, breaking uh, very quickly, um, or so it seems, uh, of course, but, you know, Rupert, uh, um, you know, when he comes into, of course, a little bit later on, um, you know, than some of the, the other characters, of course, um, but, you know, I think uh, once Rupert comes into it and, um, you know, things are kind of uh, mentioned, um, you know, we have this this dialogue, um, you know, throughout the film, um, the dialogue here is absolutely stunning, uh, this is one of the best scripts for me, um, you know, in cinema, um, you know, absolutely, uh, just, just mind blowing here. Um, the genius, you know, in, in this script, um, you know, it's just, it's wowing. It really, really is. And um, just, of course, um, these characters are saying things, you know, just, um, you know, maybe exposition, of course, as well about their past. Um, you know, of course, Rupert, um, you know, being, um, you know, previous um, housemaster, um, you know, of these of these characters, um, you know, prep school, uh, of course, David, you know, and Kenneth as well. Um, you know, he is a great, great character in the film, and um, you know, just. Great performances, you know, throughout this film. Uh, but of course, Kenneth, um, you know, he is a character who, you know, also has a kind of um, a past with uh, with Janet, um, you know, in the film. And uh, she is she is a character, Janet, who, who kind of um, is the fiance of of David. Uh, and of course, um, there is so much tragedy in this film, but so much kind of, you know, the ways in which this film goes, um, it's actually very um, 
touching as well, um, because of course we have um, you know this character of Kenneth, um, you know, kind of uh, rekindling perhaps, um, but you know this relationship with Janet, and of course by the end of the film, um, you know, of course she's very, very, um, you know, kind of worried, anxious, um, distraught perhaps, you know, of David, um, you know, where has he gone? But yes, you know, just the way in which um, Hitchcock is suggesting, um, you know, different, um, you know, kind of outcomes uh, for different characters in the film, you know, Kenneth, for example, uh, Janet, uh, of course, well, David's father, um, also in the film, uh, Mrs. Um, Atwater as well, you know, she's a very, um, you know, kind of uh, comical character, of course, uh, but, you know, you have these these different characters um, coming into this uh, environment, and um, we learn about each, you know, kind of um, individual character, um, of course, we have the kind of um, relationship they have um, to other characters, you know, in the film, uh, the kind of core characters, um, the, the kind of main characters of the film, we have, um, you know, of course, um, you know, the fiancé, for example, David, with the father of David, um, we have, you know, um, as well, the, the kind of housemaster of these characters, um, you know, it's this the sense uh, as well, um, you know, uh, that I get from this film, it's so, um, you know, kind of complete in, in the way, you know, the exposition is, uh, you know, I think, for example, you know, the way in which we learn um, the backstory of these characters, um, you know, very subtle ways, you know, it's just a way of um, Hitchcock, you know, and everyone involved just telling the story um, in the way that I can just imagine, you know, these characters, for example, being together, um, you know, previously, uh, for example, their days at, you know, um, university, you know, studying, for example, and uh, just the way in which, um, you know, Philip, um, you know, and Brandon, of course, have this this relationship with Rupert, um, you know, him being, um, you know, kind of maybe a, a kind of, um, in essence, a kind of uh, a figure they looked up to um, previously, and, uh, you know, his views as well, murder, um, he has these theories as well, you know, in the way in which they've kind of um, maybe been influenced um, by, um, by Rupert, of course, in the wrong way. Um, they took it the wrong way, and they've actually acted upon uh, this uh, this kind of these theories um, that Rupert has. Um, you know, and it's a very very um, disturbing um, kind of um, you know way in which that plays out, of course. But you have this you know this complexity. This is what I'm saying. The complexity going throughout this entire film. We have these characters. We have, um, you know, them saying, of course, um, just everyday things as well. Um, for example, what film, they discuss films and a whole kind of joke uh, in which um, some of the characters, um, for example, Mrs. Atwater, um, not remembering the actual name of the film, and we have that kind of, um, <laughs> you know, the way in which Jimmy Stewart, you know, his character Rupert, kind of um, makes um, some jokes at her as well, um, in the way he's kind of, um, you know, conversing there and the responses, you know, about the film. And it's very, very charming. Uh, it's so charming, this film. Uh, but we have all these complexities going throughout, you know, and um, just the way in which um, this is just simply exploring, um, again, human relationships, um, you know, humanity, um, you know, psychologically, this is so, so deep, this one. Uh, again, very charming, very uh, simple uh, on the surface, but this is so, so complex, so layered, um, so philosophical, and um, just the way in which, um, of course, um, this being essentially one, one take, um, you know, or just a, a constantly flowing film, uh, you know, with a camera really um, doesn't uh, stop, um, you know, in the sense of, you know, that there is, you know, there are 10 cuts, as I've said, um, but of course, not appearing to be, you know, the, this illusion uh, that this film, you know, is constantly just going and going, um, the kind of uh, real time, in essence, uh, kind of um, scenario here um, in this apartment, of course, uh, with wonderful, you know, furniture, um, you know, I'm just immersed in every detail to this film, um, this is one of the things once again, um, just so much in these in these characters, um, but just this apartment, uh, and just wanting to step in, um, you know, or really not needing to because I am so immersed, I am in the frame, uh, but you know, just wanting to kind of know more about everything, um, all these different details, uh, and maybe um, for that to maybe reveal more about these um, these characters, um, and just uh, you know the sense of time and place, um, you know, and it's a very rare um, for a film to do that, um, you know, just. Just to the level of this film, you know, uh, I think, you know, there are films, of course, my favourites, you know, I want to know more, I want to know every single ele you know, element of these characters, for example, um, or just um, where they are, you know, the location, uh, the time and place, you know. But, you know, this film does it more than so many um, of my favourites um, in such a particular um, and precise way. And uh, I think, you know, to call this an experiment, um, you know, it's very interesting, actually, um, because to me it's, you know, a complete um, and just, uh, you know, I think 
staggering world um, that's created in this and um, you know just in this apartment um, you know this one location really film uh, of course playing out over real time um, this simple murder that happens at the beginning and um, you know the very simple setup um, but it just it becomes as it develops and as the narrative uh, unfolds um, and as the sunset unfolds um, as everything you know just kind of escalates um, you know more and more um, you know, every time I see this as well um, you know I just think this is one of the greatest uh, masterpieces um, in the history of cinema it's such a stunning film and uh, I think the way in which uh, we have the camera movement um, you know it's just uh, just at the right time you see for example outside in, in the kind of lobby there um, in the hallway of course and you know you see the cloakroom as well um, with the hats you know these details um, that are in Hitchcock films um, this time just like rear window they're all in you know contained environment and uh, it's so immersive you know the way in which things are revealed um, the hat of David um, that is one of the kind of legendary Hitchcock moments and um, you know as we go through this, um, you know, it's this realization uh, of Rupert. Um, this is one of the core, one of the key elements um, of this. It's just the way in which uh, Rupert um, discovers, um, you know, more and more, and instantly, really, um, you know, very soon after he kind of, you know, um, comes into this um, environment, he knows something is off. Um, something is is very very wrong here, and uh, of course. The realization, uh, you know, we kind of know as well, uh, perhaps, you know, that he he's onto the case, um, and we know as well that right next to him and right next to other characters, you know, simply um, kind of uh, maybe having food and, and drinks, and we have this body, you know, this of a deceased, um, you know, very very important character to um, many of these. You know, we have we have David's father um, in the room, we have his fiance, um, we have apparently his friends, um, you know, his former housemaster, um, but. You know, we have this, um, and it's so um, kind of shocking that initial, you know, event um, where you know David is is kind of uh, you know strangled, um, you know, to death. Um, but we have, um, you know, at times, you know, it's kind of in the background. Uh, it acts as kind of um, part of you know this this apartment, um, part of the furniture. Of course, he is in this chest. Um, but we have. You know, there's strange moments where uh, maybe um, five minutes or so go by and we kind of, I just get so immersed, you know, in the dialogue um, that I forget and then I kind of, I'm shocked once again, I realise once again, of course we have this this body here, um, you know, in the chest, um, but it is this uneasy, you know, unconscious um, uneasy feel, this anxiety um, that is going throughout the film, uh, maybe that I, despite me being maybe um, caught up in the dialogue, there is always some sort of dread, you know, this kind of, anxiety, this worry um, that what is going to happen next, uh, of course I've seen this three times but that's cinema, you know, um, you know, I know what, what's going to happen but it's the, the, the feeling of going through um, the motions again and you know this time once again you know just um, every emotion, every detail, every character, every, every kind of thread is, is heightened, um, the experience uh, whether that be jolly, you know, joyous um, you know, kind of uh, feelings as well with, with Janet actually, um, very very wonderful um, and human and just uplifting moments with Janet, um, of course, and uh, Mrs. Wilson is such a great character too. Um, you know, very, she's an initial um, character in the film as well. Um, very, you know, soon after um, the kind of event, she comes into it. But you know, you have um, these different characters. Mrs. Atwater. Um, this is a, a purely kind of comical character. Um, she is oblivious, of course, to anything that is going on. Um, but of course, we have a character like Rupert, um, who is just. Um, he is kind of um, acting as this um, this character who is on the case of these, um, you know, uh, Philip and, uh, and of course Brandon, um, you know, of course, and you know Jimmy Stewart. Um, his performance here, um, you know, I think he's well. Again, he's one of my favourite um, free actors of all time. Actually, um, you know, I think. But once again, uh, this performance um, very different um, to his uh, variety of his films, uh, of course, performances. Uh, but you know, no less than. Um, you know, just masterful here, um, you know, the way in which um, he's, you know, he expresses his emotions here, his, his kind of, the realisation on his face, um, the moments, of course, as well, you know, Hitchcock um, directs this so perfectly, um, but you have these moments where something is going on in, you know, in, in the foreground, um, we have these, uh, these conversations, uh, or these, these kind of um, scenarios, but then we have, uh, for example, moments where, where Rupert, you know, is kind of going, you know, going past uh, in the background, um, out of focus here, um, you know, of course, but there is the, the slight, you know, in the background, um, it's such a disturbing uh, kind of feeling at times. We have him kind of just, you know, lingering there, you know, his presence, uh, you know, is, is here throughout the entire film uh, in such a way. But yes, you know, just, um, you know, Jimmy Stewart's performance here uh, and just this character of Rupert, um, you know, at once charming, um, you know, and kind of lovable and uh, comedic, um, you know, and just 
you know, with class, with style once again, um, you know, of course, but very disturbing, uh, very much um, a character who is on the case of, you know, of our uh, initial, you know, characters here. And, um, of course, we have this um, this element, you know, maybe not with Brandon, but, you know, with um, the character of, um, you know, Philip, um, you know, there's kind of this, this sympathetic, um, you know, feeling. Uh, it seems like he, he regrets, you know, what's happened and uh, you know, the way in which we know, um, you know, if, of course, Rupert finds out this and stuff, you know, we know that he is going to um, be caught, um, of course, and uh, this whole going, this going throughout the film, um, you know, in the end, of course, they are, you know, Brandon and, um, of course, Philip, um, you know, caught, um, you know, kind of um, held um, for for the law to kind of um, do what they want with them, of course, but we don't see this again, it's, it's just um, lingers on this, this kind of haunting shot here, um, of course, the, the outcome, um, you know, of course, but yes, um, you know, there is this kind of um, tragic element to this, and um, actually as well, you know, just the whole, um, seeing it again, um, just this this whole narrative uh, and the way this uh, this entire film, you know, to describe this film, um, these very young students, uh, past students, you know, very young individuals, of course, have just unfortunately killed, um, you know, their, their former, um, you know, friend, classmate, um, you know, of course, for, you know, a kind of experiment, um, you know, and of course, um, their past, um, you know, house marshal, of course, comes into this, you know, and kind of, um, you know, there is this sense of, um, re you know, this friendship that has happened, of course, you know, I believe so much in this, um, you know, this kind of, um, these relationships, uh, you know, it feels like they've always known each other in that sense, and it is, it feels authentic, it feels um, so uh, kind of honest and true in, you know, the relationships, uh, of course, uh, the characters actually knowing each other, um, but, you know, this whole, the whole way in which um, these characters, you know, have committed this, um, this crime, and, uh, you know, of course, there is no way out of this, um, there is no way out, of course, and, of course, um, as well, you know, the fact that David's father is there, and um, the tragic uh, elements for him, you know, it kind of, um, it's as if, Hitchcock has put you in this um, this world, um, this scenario, of course, and that we have different, you know, loved ones, of course. David, uh, they're all kind of there. We learn, you know, um, we don't, of course, um, see, for example, their reactions to um, to this because they never find out. You know, these characters, um, the father, of course, of David, and you know, um, the fiance, um, you know, of Janet, um, played by, of course, Joan Chandler. Um, your wonderful, um, delightful performance. Um, but yeah, you know, we see. We see these kind of characters who are close to David, um, and we kind of have them in a, in a sense of uh, panic, uh, you know, of worry, um, you know, and just wanting to know what has happened to David. Uh, and in this sense, we get the kind of the tale of morality, um, you know, this whole, you know, and maybe Philip is the one that feels, um, you know, this this kind of regret and, and the kind of uh, consequences of you know of his actions, um, you know, and this whole kind of um, experience. But we have um, these characters, um, the reactions, of course, um, you know. We have this playing out, and it's almost as if, you know, we have, um, you know, these uh, this sense of regret, you know, especially with Philip, and um, yes, just going throughout the film, and um, as we have this, you know, this um, this tension uh, constantly sustained uh, for every reason, uh, including, of course, um, you know, the kind of flowing camera and uh, the the illusion of the one take, um, of course. Um, not always, but, you know, um, I guess uh, many people, of course, agree that in cinema, you know, um, to cut, uh, sometimes it's to kind of um, to stop, to break, to relieve, um, you know, tension, uh, you know, in a sense. And if we keep, if we keep the take going, um, you know, tension can kind of keep going as well, um, you know. But, but, you know, in this film, it really does, um, you know, it really does um, stay there throughout the entire film, uh, you know, I think, you know, to kind of keep this, this camera moving or you know or this uh, it's appearing as one take uh, in that sense it does it sustains the tension uh, for the entire you know almost 80 minutes of you know um, after of course seeing the, um, you know the murder of course and, and then we have this uh, sustained tension um, this suspense uh, going throughout the entire film but it really you know this murder um, as well it's a foil for um, you know Hitchcock you know to kind of explore um, humanity and um, of course uh, the actual the things behind a murder, um, you know, just um, human uh, relationships and, uh, of course, uh, the feelings around uh, maybe losing a loved one or, or not knowing um, what's happened to a loved one. Uh, this is very, very powerful and, uh, you know, it's such a, you know, this is more than just, um, you know, an event uh, taking place. It's more than just a one location film uh, that kind of plays out in one one take, um, in that sense, the illusion of one take. It's a real uh, deep um, philosophical um, kind of... Uh, you know, exploration of humanity actually, and um, 
you know, human relationships and, um, you know, just uh, society as well. Um, you know, really, really uh, such a, a stunning film. They're so complete, so uh, kind of, there are so many themes going throughout this. Uh, once again, picking up on different things here and uh, just different details, you know, in the, in the room, uh, you know, all the different rooms of this apartment and um, just, you know, getting once again um, so, so kind of uh, wrapped up in this narrative um all the different threads you know and they kind of wrap up but they, they don't really you know fully uh, in the end things are suggested but we get enough um closure um we get these different things uh, playing out and we get the kind of uh, the suggestions uh, the hints you know what's to come um for, for these characters um but we get this sense of wonder as well and, and, and the kind of way in which hitchcock leaves um you know different characters um or they go out of the film of course and um you know there is this kind of um this this kind of feeling of you know cherishing these different um characters in the film because it's very short lived of course being eighty minutes and uh, of course you know the, none of these characters um really are in the film uh, for uh, even more than an hour um, apart from of course uh, Philip and Brandon um because of the nature of the film and the structure of it but yes we have um this kind of um cherishing this and the kind of tragedy of it you know being short lived uh, wanting to know more but we have um so we have enough in every thread um for it to kind of feel complete uh, and to feel uh, enough closure to get the net you know the kind of uh, essential uh, emotions um, or feelings uh, for these um, for these characters and uh, for this you know this entire narrative um, you know this uh, you know this film uh, is such you know a charming uh, warm uh, you know, experience this of course very dark um, very very um, you know, kind of shocking and uh, morbid perhaps um, but you know this is the genius of Hitchcock um, once again it's the genius of these Actors, um, of course, uh, Farley Granger, um, the charm he brought to this, and to Strange on a Train, um, you know, these two Hitchcock films, to John Dahl, um, you know, this is a very, very, um, you know, this is a kind of, uh, you could say he is the, the kind of main um, kind of culprit here, you know, the main kind of uh, villain of the film, perhaps, um, but you could say as well that the Rupert is, you know, in the kind of way in which the, you know, the two protagonists, um, you know, are maybe, uh, you know, Philip uh, and, and, of course, um, Brandon and he is the one that is the obstacle to them, the one that is constantly on the case, um, stopping them from kind of making or getting away with this. Um, but really, there is this sense as well that kind of Brandon wants the reaction uh, from Rupert, um, you know, of course, and he wants to kind of um, to know um, what his reaction is and what his uh, viewpoint is, because of course, you know, um, initially, um, as we know, at the end of the day, this is you know kind of uh, in essence, you know, it's a kind of um, expanding or you know acting upon uh, different theories um you know ideas of you know these characters have had you know in the past perhaps you know uh, rupert you know has openly engaged um with his kind of theories um you know in that sense of of murder and um you know this kind of this idea of you know superior uh, and inferior um, you know kind of individuals very very fascinating very disturbing of course you know and it's something that's a true um you know exploration of morality morality as well it's a morality tale of this um, it's a real you know, this film has everything, it really, really does. Uh, it's got, you know, romance as well, um, both um, you know, on and off, you know, in that sense, you know, the screen, you know, um, we learn about, you know, David, um, you know, and Janet, and we of course have Kenneth and Janet, you know, this uh, this kind of chemistry here, um, you know, as well, you know, just so, so um, unique, this one's so uh, full of um, full of life, and uh, as well, just, you know, charm. Um, this is such a stunning film, it's tense, it's layered, it's, you know, it's just, it's shocking, this film, uh, of course, every moment when we have um, these characters just about, you know, kind of uh, opening the chest or kind of moving different objects um, around, uh, you know, the apartment or just uh, maybe about to um, realise uh, different things uh, or feelings or, you know, all this um, that happens in the film, uh, it's so, it's so felt. Um, every single moment, every second of this film, uh, I am just completely uh, and utterly um, entranced uh, by this experience now. Um, you know, that's why I say about, you know, my absolute favourite films and every film that, you know, gets into my plus tiers, um, you know, is in, in, you know, in essence, a film that I love every moment of really, um, perhaps, but, you know, this film, uh, you know, it's a, it's a rare one, it's, uh, you know, it's a real, it's a real, um, you know, kind of standout uh, film, um, actually, and actually, you know, to be quite honest, um, you know, I do, um, this film has actually grown on me, you know, to the point where, I now put this above um, a few Hitchcocks that I didn't, you know, initially, you know, reviewing this. My experience of this film, um, you know, was just, uh, wow, it's a film that I love, you know, I love 
everything about this, uh, it's another plastic Hitchcock, um, you know, everything kind of works for me, um, you know, I love everything about the film, and uh, it was, you know, kind of definitely one of the most intense, um, you know, and engaging films, you know, on initial viewing, um, you know, Hitchcock's uh, filmography, but, you know, um, you know, I say that about so many Hitchcock films, uh, but, you know, it's the way in which, um, you know, watching this and watching other Hitchcocks um, over and over, um, you know, this being my third watch um, so far, it's a one that's emerged, um, you know, it's actually, you know, I thought maybe initially doesn't quite have enough uh, in comparison to other Hitchcocks um, to put them, you know, to put this uh, perhaps above it, you know, um, you know, that's a very, you know, I don't quite know um, how I can explain that, um, but it's just the way the mind works, of course, and, you know, um, what I'm trying to say is um, watching this and watching others again, you know, they all crow on me, they all, um, you know, you never love a film until you've seen it, you know, that you don't love a film until you've watched it, um, you know, that's the whole kind of thing, and then you can kind of um, care for a film and kind of cherish a film, and you know, take care of a film uh, in your collection as well. Um, for example, um, you know, which you know is is, is, is you know physical media. Um, yes, of course, uh, but you know, and just um, there, you can kind of um, you know allow films to grow in you and kind of um, you know to take uh, take on other uh, you know other forms. And uh, this is a film uh, that I think this has really done that. Um, you know, it's emerged as you know absolutely. You know, I think. This is one of the, the finest, um, you know, kind of 10 Hitchcock films, uh, absolutely. Um, this is one of the, the very best, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, I think, you know, it really has emerged uh, as such a, you know, kind of lovable film, this, uh, and one that I feel um, so much emotion for. Uh, initially, I didn't feel, you know, as much emotion maybe as other Hitchcock films uh, that I put above this, uh, but now, now I do, now I do. And uh, not to say that I didn't initially think this was a masterpiece, uh, but yeah, it really is uh, a special film, this, and uh, I think just in, in, the, in the craft, um, technically this film uh, is just stunning, the colour tones, of course, the blocking, um, you know, I just, I, I marvel um, at, at the blocking in this film, uh, the, ray, the way in which, uh, you know, actors, um, the characters, of course, are arranged um, in relation to one another, um, objects in, you know, in the environment of this, uh, this contained environment, uh, every single element of the framing, of course, Every, you know, um, being, of course, you know, continuous flow, um, but, you know, just the way in which, you know, Hitchcock is placing the camera, uh, for example, he may, he may move the camera um, at the right moment, uh, he may, you know, kind of move in, push in, pull out, you know, or just, uh, just linger, uh, just at the right moments here, and uh, the way in which characters move as well, you know, this is something uh, to kind of uh, marvel at, you know, to be in awe of, you know, this is, this is filmmaking, you know, this is, um, wow, you know, this is, uh, it takes a lot to do this, you know, of course, being, uh, you know, kind of, um, you know, of course, 10 cuts, um, but, you know, so many moments, you know, that are, you know, sustained and, uh, you know, lasting for so long, um, and for characters, actors, of course, to be going just in the right way, um, arranged just so, um, you know, objects as well, um, you know, just, uh, you know, kind of, um, dialogue as well you know it's all kind of going on constantly um and it's so perfect it really really is and it just takes so much um there is so much i have you know admiration for this um for Fifth hitchcock of course and for this film and everyone involved um this is absolutely you know one of the best films ever made uh, for me um it's a delight um you know it's charming warm uh you know it's just these delightful um classic feelings um that you just don't get in you know, um, modern cinema in this way, you know, you just don't get it, um, you know, I'm just, I just, I find it so addictive, this film, I find it so, so charming, so endearing, um, you know, so lovable, um, so, so magical, um, you know, this is very strange uh, to call this film magical, perhaps, you know, some would say, um, you're calling it magical, charming, uh, warm, um, yes, yeah, it really is, you know, in my opinion, I think, very uh, morbid, of course, you know, very, um, very much, you know, of course, this murder happens, um, we see, of course, from there what happens, you know, they hide him in, in the trunk, in the chest, um, but it, it turns into one of the most magical and, um, you just, uh, warm films uh, that I've ever seen, uh, that I've ever taken part in, uh, it's a participation film uh, that I'm invested in um, from start to finish, and uh, just one of the absolute finest films, um, you know, for me, uh, in the history of cinema. So yes, to conclude, um, you know, I've always loved this film, uh, but I think it's really, um, truly, and um, quite wonderfully actually emerged uh, as one of my absolute favourites, um, you know, kind of Hitchcock's filmography. Um, you know, I think this really is um, a flat out masterpiece, and uh, I think just a special, unique film. It's a very particular um, kind of level of, of tension, um, you know, of just uh, of intrigue, and um, just, 
you know, suspense and um, you know, uh, fascination uh, at these these humans. Um, you know, of course, uh, acting in different ways um, that just you know we, we watch this as a viewer and um, we just marvel at um, you know at least I did and uh, such a, a stunning film. This uh, very surreal, of course, um, very surreal film. You know, Brandon is is kind of this. Um, is you know very surreal character. Um, you know it's it's quite um you know quite strange of course the way in which he, you know he feels he acts. Um, you know his his kind of viewpoints and uh, I think very extreme characters and, and kind of how these extremes have, have kind of uh, manifested um, from these maybe um, these theories of course, but nothing that was ever going to be acted out. You know and that's something that's very disturbing um, actually about these these characters. Um, you know this whole kind of scenario and. Um, Yes, yeah, just this whole comment on um, you know, human nature, individuals, um, you know, um, psychologically, um, philosophically, and uh, I think, you know, a comment on society as well, a uh, very um, specific and uh, kind of unique uh, comment, and um, the way in which, you know, for example, characters view um, people, you know, inferior, superior, uh, and the way in which they kind of try to um, justify this um, very very interesting indeed um so thought-provoking this one and uh, yes a lovable film um such a charming uh, joyride of course um i mean 80 minutes of this um you know and here we are with one of the finest films ever made um that's how you do it and hitchcock indeed once again creating uh, one of the best thrillers uh, one of the best uh, human dramas um comedies you know it's such a hilarious film uh, you know i love rupert especially you know, his, his kind of um, exchanges uh, mrs atwater um you know she's hilarious in this film and uh yeah it's just you know douglas dick you know as um you know as, as kenneth um you know he is a very um you know enjoyable character um so charming of course and this uh, this kind of uh rekindling you know this is um this kind of love story for example um between him and janet you know it's so um so wonderful to see such a lovely film uh, despite being very dark you know in its subject matter you know and themes and um the initial event you know it's it's, it's, it's you know it's at once you know kind of um, this charming, um, you know, comedic film, uh, you know, of course, uh, different uh, different moments that are kind of um, kind of warm and uh, kind of fuzzy, um, but you know, have this um, as well, this whole dark and disturbing um, you know, kind of intensity to it as well. So, yes, um, my final rating is 100% plus tier one. Um, absolutely, um, I stand by that. You know, I think this film has emerged um, more and more um, every time I see this as one of my favourites. Um, you know, it's just such a wonderful film um you know i want to see it again i want to see it over and over i want this to go you know t for two hours you know three hours four hours keep going because i'm so invested um this is not even an hour and a half um you know unfortunately but you know that's just the you know it's just um it's a piece you know a piece of cinema it's a vision uh, visionary film uh you know it's, again you know hitchcock uh, maybe he played it down like <laughs> you know it's not to me anyway um just an experiment you know it's, it's emerged for me you know after viewing it constantly it is you know kind of as one of his best films actually and um you know it's a real accomplished work um so so genius this um and, and so um sincere and welcoming um you know even though we are greeted essentially um pretty much by this this kind of um you know right up at the camera as well this, this kind of murder of course but you know, it's such a warm film uh, it's so ironic um this and it's just it takes a real uh you know a master filmmaker um to achieve you know all of these different uh, feelings, these elements, uh, these moving pieces, um, these these constants, the, uh, you know these these constant feelings, these variables, um, all at once. Um, you know, very contained. You know, he had to he had to get this done in eighty minutes. You know, we have this whole narrative um, just expanding, uh, contracting, unfolding, uh, escalating, developing, and uh, culminating. Um, you know, but not not fully wrapping up. Um, you know, in in the right ways. So, in the same ways, um, having enough closure, um, of course, uh, just the ending uh, kind of image um, will forever stay with me. And um, even on my first viewing, uh, I was shocked, I was moved, um, very emotional film, uh, very tragic. Um, but, you know, I was so uplifted, um, you know, so warmed uh, by, you know, just classic Hitchcock cinema. And, you know, just as I say, um, visually as well, um, just so, uh, so warm and kind of, Kind of um, so involving as well in the way in which the camera flows, or you know, at the right moments just lingers, um, you know, appears as just you know, just subtly capturing um, these these performances, these characters, the interactions, uh, of course, the um, you know, the kind of um, the, the kind of relationships here, the way in which it's so complex yet so simple, um, but you know, just being the first uh, color Hitchcock as well, um, the 
Technicolor, um, of course, uh, free strip, and uh, I love Technicolor, um, of course, you know, just, uh, you know, it can't be replicated, um, you know, different variations, of course, of Technicolor, and um, seeing, you know, this, um, you know, it's just a real treat to look at, um, you know, I love, I love the dreamy, uh, fantastical feeling of, of different, um, you know, films, uh, specifically, yes, the, the kind of um, Technicolor look, um, you know, this, this kind of look, in, in kind of, yeah, it's fantastical, um, maybe surreal as well, you know, kind of, uh, kind of tones and um, the warmth, um, you know, and just actually the depth of this is, is really something. And uh, just uh, once again, a wonderful, wonderful film, a wonderful achievement, a remarkable storytelling, um, acting, um, you know, a subtle use of music as well. Um, rope, um, you know, it's not just, you know, contained... Uh, you know, kind of thriller um, based around this murder. It's so much, it's so much. And um, yes, I guess every film, uh, you know, is uh, for someone um, more than just, you know, kind of um, how you can kind of sum it up in a plot, you know. Again, you know, um, this is it's just, it's all subjective. And, um, you know, it's how we, how we um, you know, kind of interpret cinema um, that makes, you know, makes it anything at all. Um, so yes, um, a wonderful film, this uh, wonderful, wonderful film. Uh, I love Rope. Um, but what do you think? What do you think of this film? Uh, once again, I went through um, you know the set behind me, and um, you know I would I recommend that set um, to any fan of cinema, um, really, and just Hitchcock films. Um, you know, one of the um, one of the finest uh, ultimate filmmakers, um, easily a top five uh, for me, um, director of all time, filmmaker, um, just just genius. Uh, wow, uh, and so warm once again. So yes, uplifting, magical, um, surreal dark, disturbing, uh, thought-provoking, um, just layered, um, macro, micro, it's everything, this film, and it's all just in this, um, really in this, this kind of one location apartment, uh, over the course of an evening, really, um, based around this, this murder, um, this event, hiding this, this character, um, you know, in the trunk, and the chest, um, and, uh, waiting for, you know, the human response, um, the scenario, of course, uh, allowing this to kind of emerge and develop and, and kind of, um, twist and turn and in the end culminate into the inevitable um which is yes um the final image there uh, yes rope um tell me your thoughts on this um this is a very interesting film to talk about and um endless conversations about this and many other uh, you know kind of hitchcock films um there is so much um you know it's just it's it's thousands of hours you know you can talk about hitchcock um no doubt his work Wow, um, you know, really, um, quality, um, quantity, you know, it's just, it is the kind of, um, the kind of um, largest potential um, for conversations with one filmmaker for me, uh, actually, and, um, you know, just, wow, one of my, my absolute favourites, um, really very close to being the top um, for me, but yes, what do you think of it? Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on this film, and uh, just, just, just converse if you want, um, feel free to leave your comment, um, even if you just... Have a, a tiny bit to say about this and your initial maybe experience. Uh, I've seen it three times, but you know, um, you know, it's a film that you can kind of um, see again and again. Of course, you know, just like any film, and you can kind of um, you know um, figure out different things. But you can leave um, whatever you you feel about this film. Uh, feel free, um, as always, with all my videos. Of course, just leave your comments, and uh, it'd be great to discuss. Um, you know, I would love to discuss um, this film. I look forward to that. Um, if you want, um, so yes, as always, um, you know, it's been a pleasure. Um, it's been an honour to talk about Hitchcock again, and um, it's of course it's not going to end um, yet. Uh, we have so much more, um, and uh, of course many rewatches as well, um, and many more discussions, lists of course, or just uh, off-topic um, or kind of unfocused discussions on uh, moments or you know Hitchcock um, films, uh, or just yeah, it's just uh, various various moments, uh, feelings you know for Hitchcock films or scenes, um, you know, definitely open to that. So yes. Yes, um, that's it for now. Um, of course, we'll wrap up. And uh, yes, as always, take care. And yes, thanks for watching.